quite a place, isn't it? All my growing up took place between these old walls. My daddy was born here, my granddaddy, and his granddaddy before him. Fifty generations in all. No, oh, I know, I know. It's the night before Christmas, and I'm not even supposed to be stirring. Our first Christmas together. Oh, shucks. No people, no crumbs. No crumbs, no Barnaby. not going anywhere, Barnaby. Oh, Noel. And I was practicing to be as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> That's okay. But my family will be home soon, so you better hurry if you want leftovers. Leftovers? Gee, Noel, I owe you one. I know, I know. I was flirting with certain disaster, fraternizing with the enemy. But somehow I trusted Noel. Ever since Sarah lost her mother, Noel was an angel from heaven to that little girl and her daddy. Hmm. Looks like we have new neighbors, darling. Maybe they'll have children that you can play with. But I've got Noel to play with, Daddy. She's my best friend. Noel, sometimes I think you understand everything. <laughs> uh, I hate to leave my beautiful girls, but the typewriter calls. Uh, my editor will hang me if I don't get my manuscript in by Christmas. Oh, has anyone seen my glasses? <laughs> oh. You're a rare talent, Nicky, old boy. Such a lovely voice. <laughs> Turns out the lady was a famous singer named Leslie Lee, although we had never heard of her. But we were about to hear plenty, because Leslie loved to sing morning, noon, or late at night. And that dog was her steady accompaniment. La, 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 I can't believe how noisy she is. As you can well imagine, the neighbors took an immediate disliking to one another. I'm sorry, but it is my apartment and I simply can't get any work done. I'm sorry, but it is my apartment and I have to earn a living. I can't believe how noisy you are. I can't believe how nerdy you are. You have absolutely no respect for the intellectual process. And you have no appreciation for fine music. <laughs> That's music? It sounds more like an engine turning over. Obviously, you have never heard of warming up the voice. If it gets any warmer, we're going to go deaf. Of course you'd say that. You're a cat. Cats are just plain cold. 